happy Monday, everyone. Today, I want you to just take a moment and be still. That's the topic for today's 10 Minute Monday Art Tips. And I was reading a book from Julia Cameron, who um, has written several books, but the one that she that i'm reading at the moment is called how to walk in the world and she's the one that did um the artist way and she writes about doing your morning pages and to take yourself out on a art date once a week and she's got all these tools and tricks to get creative and the one i'm reading right now is the art the way to walk in the world and to live a creative life So one of her challenges, one of her exercises in the book is to do nothing for 15 minutes every day. So Jill McDougall had a challenge, an art challenge in May, create every day in May. And she talked about doing something creative every single day. And today I am going to do a bit of the opposite. I want to challenge you to do nothing for 15 minutes every single day. And when I say do nothing, it's not sitting on the couch and looking at your phone or watching TV or reading a book or listening to music. I'm literally talking about sitting still and looking at the trees. That's why I'm outside today. I want you to sit back and to listen to the birds and listen to the leaves rustling. And what else can you hear? Because part of being an artist is to be aware of all five of your senses, not just your seeing sense, but you've got to be able to feel the wind on your face and hear the grouse squawking off in the distance. And I almost didn't come out today because it was so windy this morning and I wasn't sure if you'd be able to really hear me properly. And then I thought, well, if you can hear the wind, then it will have served its purpose. So here we are outside in the garden. And The reason for this is I want you to think about when do you get your best ideas? When do they hit you? If you're anything like me, you will get your best ideas when you're in the shower or in the middle of the night when you wake up in the night. That's when the answers to all of your creative dilemmas or other dilemmas come to fruition. So that happens because you're not busy thinking about what you need to put on your grocery list and what you need to do or the latest music or what's on TV or what you're not scrolling Facebook. Those are all things that take your mind away from the creative act of creating. So I am putting out a challenge to everybody watching this today to be able to sit and be still for 15 minutes every single day. Now, the creative challenge was harder than I even imagined, and I am a creative person. I do this for a living, and you know what? There were some days when things just got crazy, and life got busy, and everything happened all at once, and I couldn't take the time to really uh, do my writing practice, but I did it at the end of the day anyways for that 30 days. I did mine in June, and it was an amazing experience, and I was far more creative at the end of that And I think that I'm going to be a lot more creative at the end of this 15 days, or 30 days, sorry. Every day in August, 15 minutes devoted to doing nothing but being still, being contemplative, and just tuning in to our five senses. So important. Um, No phone. And the other thing that I want to mention, when I have done this in the past, the really miraculous thing is that I get more done on my to-do list every day when I take time to be still. 
Now that is going to be one of the things. Everyone's going to say, I'm too busy. I have too much going on. Well, that's everybody. We all are like that. But I find I am so much more productive when I take the time to be still. Then I can get a lot more done in the hour or two that I devote to working. Gets uh, much, many more things get accomplished then. So I want to know how it goes for you. Are you going to be able to succeed at this? Are you going to be able to do it well? Are you going to be able to really set the time away to do it? Because it is just as valuable as actually creating. Being still is just as valuable as creating. That was worth repeating, okay? I want you to really take that in. That's when the best ideas appear. When all of the really great moments, the aha moments don't come usually when you're sitting there like really focusing on it and busy, busy when you're running off your feet or scrolling Facebook. That's not when you get your, your best ideas, right? Do you see the trembling aspen behind me? I love to watch the silver leaves when they flutter. I want to show you something really cool. I'm going to hope. What do you think of that? Hmm. Pretty remarkable if you ask me. Hmm? I love to be out here in the day when it's windy. I love to hear the grouse in the distance. I love to hear the birds chirping. I love to hear the pigeons muttering about in our neighbor's rooftop. Sometimes the squirrels are squawking. I do bring my book out here and I bring my notebook out here. Sometimes I bring my paints out here. I sat and sketched my, my canvas on yesterday when I was outside. Um, it's pretty remarkable, but the best, most creative times are going to be those still moments. And it's the same in the studio. Sometimes I just like to sit and be still in the studio. And just ponder life, looking at the paintings on the walls, looking at my tubes of paint, looking at my blank canvases. That's when the creative flow really, really hits. So I really encourage you to give it a go and I want to know how it ha how it works for you. Let me know. The trees are more powerful than I am, don't you think? Let me see what else do I want you to um yeah, just let the answers come. Let it flow and you're going to find that when you get back to the studio and back to your easel you're going to have much more easier time of it all. It's going to flow so much better. The answers will come. They will really be there for you. Just trust in yourself. Trust your intuition. And um, yeah, do you like being quiet? Tell me what the struggles are. What are you going to run into? Tell me what answers you come across. Tell me... Um, if it helps, or maybe it doesn't help. Maybe that's just my way. Maybe that's Julia Cameron's way, but I am really wanting to know if this tip is a good one. Okay. Um, and as usual, let me know what you want me to talk about next week. Um, I've got some pointers from my mentor that I want to talk about next week, probably, um, from Shane Garten. And uh, he's got some interesting blog posts that I thought I would chat about next week, but we will see what comes. 
today I couldn't help but talk about the trembling aspen. I just love it. And I really hope you can hear it. I hope you can hear me. Hope you can hear the leaves rustling, the wind blowing. All right, have a great week, everyone. And I will see you back here at the same time, same place next week. Bye.